Heather here. Um, long story short, I forgot to film an intro, but you are getting ready with me too. Okay, so I think this is the best it's gonna get. Currently, you guys are in a cupboard because I don't have a foam stand yet, which I think I mentioned in my last video. I'm gonna go throw in some contacts and I'll be right back. I brought dry shampoo and a hairbrush. I'm gonna do that and I'll probably take the sound off of this so that you don't have to hear it. But for now, I'm gonna pull it back so that I can get started on my makeup. If you're wondering what this is here, I used to have my undercut shaved for summer and now it's gotta grow back out. I just try to hide it the best I can. I have pretty heavy hair, so it tends to hide it really well. And I'm gonna start with some lotion. gonna hopefully throw on some primer there's not much left and I'm gonna have to pick up more but that's how it is I guess <laughs> okay. now I'm gonna take a quick break to brush my teeth I'll be right back with some clean teeth Someone has joined us. This is Cersei. And she scraggled up my hair again. And with my primer being done, I'm going to start with my eyebrows. So I take an e.l.f. eyebrow duo brush and the James Charles palette, um, which I heard he's coming out with like a mini, or I saw the video too. Um, what do you guys think about that? I don't really have an opinion on it. So let me know how you feel about the mini palette coming out. I'm curious to hear what you guys have to say in the comments down below, even if it's only two of you watching. With my eyebrows being shaped and filled in, I just take a brow mascara and I run it through for the first time. It's a Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Mascara. So my next step is to take a really, really light concealer that I'll be mixing into my foundation as well. I take that on a Morphe brush. I'm not really sure which one it is. Mine don't have labels. And then I carve under the brow. I like to go just on the side here and then I do the same on the other side. I don't usually put more concealer on unless I need to. I don't like to use too much and I kind of did on this side. I think this qualifies as boyfriend makeup. I moved out from my house and all my stuff kind of just got jumbled. I used to be really into makeup and then I kind of lost it and started only using it for purposes, going to a nice dinner or something like that, but lately I've been getting back into it and that kind of started my YouTube interest again. I've tried YouTube a couple times, but all of my videos got deleted by me because I just wasn't confident enough with myself to be doing YouTube. I'm sorry if this audio sucks. Normally I'd wear my AirPods, but I'm trying to save their battery for the rest of my day today because I'm gonna be with my grandfather and a lot of times we share my AirPods and listen to music because the speakers on the car make his head hurt. So I just put a basic kind of thin-ish layer down of the Tarte Shape Tape Hydrating Foundation. I got this a while ago when it first launched. There wasn't all the controversy just yet. And I thought it was a great foundation when I tried it in the store. So I bought it. I don't know if there's still controversy or if they fixed the shade issues and got more shades because it's really bad to basically alienate a whole group of people and they should be able to enjoy foundation the same way everyone else does. But I still use it because I don't really have money to go out and buy another foundation. 
and the rest of my foundations don't work the same way this one does for my my skin but i'm still on my first bottle <laughs> i like i said i don't do makeup that often so my next move is i take a flat brush which i can't find right now so give me one second so i've returned with my starter brush so what i do with this one is i take it and i kind of pat my foundation down in a way that blends it i don't really I don't use a beauty blender yet. I might in the future. I did for a while, but it didn't really work the same way I wanted it to. I'm kind of picky on how my makeup application goes and I just didn't like the way a beauty blender felt. So I stopped using it and went back to brushes, which I will admit can be harder to clean sometimes. I kind of prefer to like paint my face, so to speak. Um, I do do art, so a lot of the way that I do my makeup is based off the way I do my art, actually. So I kind of use my face as if it's some type of canvas, and I use products in a way that reminds me of what I'm good at. So once that's blended the first time around, I go ahead and take a e.l.f. small stipple brush and I stipple it. Same motion you would do with a beauty blender, just with a brush. Sorry, I have animals and their hair seems to constantly be in my brushes. I mostly stipple areas that look cakey or unblended or streaky. Now that there's way too much highlight on my face, I go back in with a brush and just kind of buff it out a little bit. After that, I go in with some lip balm. This one's the Burt's Bees Vitamin E and Peppermint. And then after that, I take an e.l.f. lip tint. I'm not sure what color this is, to be honest. Oh, it's a dewy nude. And I start in the middle, blot it out by smacking my lips. <laughs> For the last step of my makeup routine, I'm gonna go ahead and take the CoverGirl Clump Crusher Water Resistant and I'm gonna take it on my upper lashes. Next, what I'm gonna do is take that barrette out first of all, grab my brush from where it fell. I'm not gonna curl my hair today because I'm just not really feeling it. I don't have anything super special to do. Just go check on my grandfather and make sure he's doing okay because he lives on the outskirts of town by himself, but I kind of like to look nice. Just gonna take a barrette and kind of twist my hair up a little bit in the right here. Pull that back so that it's not in my face or less in my face. And then I'll do that on the other side. Since I have really thick hair, it doesn't take long for these clips to fall out, but you know, they still look cute for a little bit. And since my hair has a tendency to tangle, I go in with just a little bit of Garnier Fructis Full Control Hairspray, and I put it on my hand actually, and then I just kind of do this and rub it through, or run it through, I guess. And that just kind of prevents my hair from knotting as much as it likes to. And then I keep the scrunchie on hand. I'm not a Visco girl, so but I do keep it on hand just in case my hair gets wild that day. And I'm fixing up my tie right now. That is kind of the end of this video. I'll probably throw in a few pictures at the end just cause why not, you know? It was really nice talking to you guys today, you know, even though you can't answer cause it's a YouTube video, but Leave some comments down below. Let me know how I'm doing, what kind of content you wanna see from me. Like, subscribe, comment, follow my other things. I'm gonna be posting some TikToks today. Bye. <laughs>